What's up, guys? Don't mind me looking like a little Bow Wow right now, but the wig I'll be slaying for you guys today is a Sensational Clown 9 Swiss Lace Wig, and her name is Rachel. Of course, this is her fresh out the box. I did get her in the color 1, which is the darkest color. By the way, just to mention, she does come with a silk lace base frontal. After putting the wig on my head, I did notice that although the hair was soft and silky, the ends were a little tangled. And with that being said, I like to use a denim brush for all of my wigs. This denim brush actually does untangle it better than a comb. Hey, Here, I went ahead and cut the lace off camera because, of course, it's simple and I'm sure we all know how to cut. <laughs> now I'm going to show you how I secure the wig. And how I secure the wig, I do use the got to be glue. All I do basically is lift the front part of the wig up and smooth the gel underneath the frontal. You can also put it on your own scalp, it is optional. I just really love this glue because now I can sleep with my wig on instead of removing it at night and having to put it back on in the morning. This saves so much time for if you're running late anywhere. So after the glue is on, I press the frontal down for extra hold and let it dry or you could use a blow dryer that is however is optional as well. Tweezers. Using those, I like to pluck out my hairline. I usually don't do this, but it did somehow make a difference to me. Not sure if you guys will be able to tell. Maybe later on throughout the video you will. I literally plucked my life away for about 20 minutes. To get rid of the leftover lace that is visible, I'm going in with my powder to blend it in with my actual scalp for a realistic look. Now for my favorite part that I feel like I'm doing better on because how many of you know? Practice makes perfect, get it? <laughs> Baby hairs. I'm taking tweezers because it was close by at the moment to just take out a few pieces from the frontal. I try to make it as thin as possible, therefore the next step I like to do is take some foaming lotion. And in this case, I am using a lot of body. I feel that this does make the hair strands thinner and easier to cut loose. Which brings me to the next step. Taking some scissors I found around the house, I like to cut diagonally rather than straight across because no one should have blunt cut looking baby hairs. That's just not cute. For the final part of this wig sledge, I'm just slapping some gel on the strands using a hard bristle brush and creating a smoke like motion with my fingers as I go. And that is it you guys, this is how you create a realistic wig look. Um, like I said, that is it. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I hope you all learned something. And until next time, bye.